<laughs> Hi guys, um, so I'm just chilling out in my van. I bought a van yesterday, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to explain why and, and what, what, what that's all about um, in this video, but yeah, I'm just chilling out and I bought it yesterday, drove it home, picked it up from, from Somerset, so not too far away, I drove it back to Exeter and uh, yeah, I'm chilling in it right now, which is just mental. I mean, you can see it in the back a little bit there. It's pretty big. It's an LDV Convoy, high, high loader, long wheelbase, something like that. It's huge. It's going to be amazing. And I am so excited to share this journey with you and just to let you know kind of what my dreams and hopes are with it all. So I'm going to give you a little tour and probably do some more talking. And I'm hoping we can do start off with doing a little bit of work on it today. And I'm going to document it all. This is partly, for, well, this is mostly for me just to sort of document where this is, where, what this is all about, where I'm going with it and how, where I started from and uh, what the finished product hopefully is and, and all my adventures that I have in it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you around the back and show you what's what. So here's the back. The door's open a little bit wider, but it's on a road at the minute and there's lots of people walking past so I've just opened them halfway but as you can see it's huge um, there's kind of a lot of extra insulation and stuff in there at the minute um, which I'll probably clear up in a moment and show you without it but the flooring has been done the um, couple that have bought it off have recently just broken up and they were decking it out themselves so they're partially way, part way through it so they've done the flooring, a nice wooden flooring and they've done a, most of the insulation of the walls and of the ceiling um, I can stand up in it nice and easy, which is great. Um, so yeah, there's a few more bits of insulation to do before I can start to fly with the, the line it, but all good fun. So as you can see, I can easily stand up in it. I'm only five foot three, so that's not difficult. But I've got a couple of like 20 centimeters headroom, um, and yeah, that was a real key part of part of the van for me. I needed to be able to stand up in it because I want to deck it out as a camper and yeah i like to be able to stand where i live so so there we go i've just cleared out the um all of the extra stuff that was in the back here and you can see the walls a bit better and see the flooring a bit better now so yeah the um insulation on the wall walls has been done i just need to cover it with some plywood the flooring's great lovely little wooden floor there um the ceiling's been layered with a bubble wrap and just is waiting to have the king span which i've got on the side there to put onto it which I might do today um, yeah obviously there's the wheel arches but I've got lots of stuff from the other guys um, and coming forward we've got three seats in the cab area so I've got my seat obviously won't drive with the king's ban on the wall there but it's just stored away right now and then two passenger seats and um, pretty comfortable actually so I drove it back first time last night and um, oh my <laughs> I've never dream, driven anything this big before. I've had little cars. I've got a Mini right now. Um, as you can probably imagine, this is a, a bit different from a Mini. Um, it's pretty pretty big. It's pretty long um, and pretty high off the ground when I drive it. But it was, a, it was a super fun journey. It was really, really good weather. It was a really sunny like evening just as the sun was setting. And there's tons of windows in this van. It was an old Mini bus, so there's loads of windows. So it was just light pouring in. And it was just so much fun because I could just, it was just like an insight into all the adventures and the, the scenes that I'm going to see in this van when, I'm, when it's finally up and running and I can take it around the world and see everything. So it was really cool, um, but also quite daunting because I'd never driven anything this big. But it got back to Exeter in one piece, so that's good, thank the Lord. And um, yeah, ready to get cracking on it. So yeah, I'm going to convert it into a camper. Um, with the view to kind of spend the summer in it and and see how long I want to be in it I might be in it for longer. I might you know, I might not I, I don't know I'm just gonna do it up and see and see where it goes and literally see where the road takes me um, I'm not gonna put any restrictions on it. I think it's one of those kind of weird ventures that just needs to Go where it's gonna go and 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 run the run its life on its own so we shall see but the idea is yeah to put a bed put a little um unit in it um fit it out with all the things i'm going to need for living hopefully and and take it on a couple of holidays see what see what's what um it's just an itch i've got to scratch it's a bit of a weird one 
not many 21 year olds go I want to deck out a, uh, a van with the view to perhaps living out of it but I'm not normal and I'm fine with that so it's a, it's an urge it's it's a it's a dream that I've had for the last sort of 10 months and I'm at a point in my life where I can do that. I'm, I'm young, free and single. I'm coming to a little bit of a crossroads in my life and deciding what to do. And I'm going to decide to follow my dreams. So I'm going to I'm going to do it and I'm going to just see how it goes. And um, yeah, no restrictions, just just going to take it easy, see where life takes me and um, enjoy it. And yeah, scratch that itch. But I'm super, super, super excited. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.